Boom! Yo, 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 what's going on? Max on Africa here. Another Game Pickups video. My goodness, it's been so long. Three weeks since my last video. I've been collecting, thrifting, collecting, thrifting, collecting, thrifting. 49 games today. 49 games and like a few accessories here and there. But let's just go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna keep y'all waiting. Let's go ahead and get started here, all right? Start with the uh, two classic PS2 games here. We got Time Crisis and Point Blank 2. Time Crisis and Point Blank 2. Um, both of them are Gun Kong games, shooters. Um, I mean, y'all know Time Crisis, but uh, Point Blank, uh, that's a new one for me, but I love my Gun Kong games, so I'm good with that. Let's go. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. This completes my Mirror's Edge collection because I have the first one on 360. Digimon All-Star Rumble. Digimon All-Star Rumble. Looks like a four-player, I don't want to say Power Stone, but four-player Smash or like four-player Arena Brawler. I'm always down for that. I like arcade games. I love them. Crimson C2. Um, pick uh, this one up at Superbit. It looks pretty awesome as far as RPGs go. The thing that really attracted me was the two-player co-op mode. It's got like a style like Devil May Cry. So Crimson C2. Woo! King of Fighters 11. King of Fighters 11. King of Fighters 11 here. It is, I think, um, the real KOF fans, KOF fans, they will say this is one of the best uh, KOFs there are. For a 360, Apache Air Assault. I love my little airplane shooting, uh, helicopter shooting, war game. So that was a pickup for me. Um, vanilla case from GameStop, but Bully Scholarship Edition. You guys know Bully. Bully the Scholarship Edition. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I can find a real insert. Uh, my man Ryan hooked me up with this one. He helped me out. Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. If you guys are collectors, you know GameCube games are going high in value right now, so if you ain't got them, go ahead and start collecting them. Terraria. Played this game on PC a while back, multiplayer. Um, I got this one because it's a four player version and it's got some extra features, uh, new content and features for the 360 game, such as uh, 25 different block types, blah, 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 blah. Uh, new enemies and final boss. So. It's going to be a nice party game to play with my people. All right, guys. I'm really excited for this. Like, I'm really excited because I have a whole bunch of cool stuff. Bioshock, the collection. I got rid of my PS3 and 360 Bioshocks and just bought this one. I just like having definitive versions of the game. So that one has all the DLCs and everything. Uh, excuse the price tag, but Dishonored. Um, the Death of the Outsider. I, I forgot they even had, I think this is the third game. I forgot they had three games because I had the first two already, so that's good to have. I like my anime fighting games. Got the little Guilty Gear XRD Revelator. You guys know the Guilty Gear series, famous fighting game series, famous, uh, famous uh, anime fighting game series. Yeah. Brand new sealed. You guys heard of this one, Captain Tsubasa Soccer. Still sealed right now. I'm finna open it soon, but it is sealed at the moment. Captain Subasa Soccer. What a great, what a great, 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 great game. Tales of Zillia RPG. There's a whole bunch of Tales games. Like, cause I'm not really into RPGs like that, but as I'm collecting them, I'm seeing a whole bunch of Tales games. So, um, they said this one was good. Y'all let me know if you played this. This is one to four players, which is pretty unique for RPG. So I'm kind of I'm kind of psyched about that. Super Bomberman R. Bomberman is an amazing party game. This one hosts up to eight players. Also, Master Chief is an exclusive character. So why can't why why shouldn't I why shouldn't I not buy this? I love party games. Um, part of my GameStop, uh, what is it, four, uh, four games, uh, $14.99 and under, you buy four of them, get two of them free. 
So I always thought I had this game, but I didn't. Uh, Shadow, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider games are good. Um, a lot of them are. Um, th th this was on a whim. My time in Porsche. Uh, my time at Porsche. If you guys know about this game, let me know um, from the review. It looks like uh, it looks like between like a Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon, and like a RPG, like crafting kind of thing. So, sure, why not? Borderlands, the sexy collection, or AKA the handsome collection. Um, this has Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel. Also, four players, uh, which is reimagined. It has a whole, like all the content from Borderlands, the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2. So, if you guys are looking for something like this, this is really cheap right now at GameStop, at least $12.99, so hop on that. God of War Origins Collection, excuse that ugly white GameStop thing. Uh, God of War Origins Collection, it was a part of a bundle deal that I did at GameStop, so I was like, yes, I like remastered God of War games. Love this. <laughs> South Park, the fractured butt with a B-U-T, hole with a H-W-H-O-L-E. Um, one of these ridiculous South Park RPGs. I like, I, I like, um, first of all, South Park's like one of my favorite, like, cartoons, and, um, I had to stick the truth on PS3, so adding this to the collection would be very, very nice. Alright, guys. Um, if I didn't tell you recently, I acquired a VR headset, so um, let me go ahead and share with you the VR games I got. Got PlayStation VR Worlds, which I heard this was a staple once you have a VR headset. They said that's a staple you need to get, so I'm glad to have that. The Inpatient. The Inpatient. It looks like a horror, like suspense, thriller game. Like, I'm playing RE7 right now on Twitch, so. Like the horror stuff, it's really intense. If you've never played it, try it. Then uh, the Wizard, I believe the Wizards and yeah, the Wizards Enhanced Edition. So this one is like you use your VR controller to cast spells and all that. It looks pretty cool. Like from the back cover, it's all the screenshots, like craft your own spells and all that. I'm like, yes, why not? I've heard of this game, but I've never paid it any attention. Life is strange. Um, Occasionally, I do enjoy the cinematic uh, games like um, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. I, I do enjoy those, so why not? Why not try that out? Uh, this one's been looking me, looking at me forever. I just never knew what it was. The Strange Brigade, Looked like some kind of Indiana Jones four-player kind of thing, but um, online four-player because local is only one player. Um, I, I don't know too much about this game to tell you, so. Sword Art Online. I've heard of Sword Art, and this game got uh, greatly reviewed, so it was one of those pickups for me. I do like anime games. This one I've been waiting for to get at the right price, Infamous Second Son. Um, I played uh, the first Infamous on PS3, I haven't played the second one, but Infamous Second Son looks like it's one of those uh, great Infamous games, open world. Um, you guys know Infamous, I don't need to explain too much. Then, Warhammer Chaos Bane. Um, this was a random pickup for me. I looked at I looked at the game uh, online, the scores were like terrific. Uh, one, like, uh, one thing about me that attracts me is like four player, local multiplayer, like couch multiplayer games. So this is one of them, it looks like a dungeon crawler. It's been positively reviewed. So it gives me an idea for a next video where I might just show you PS4, like multiplayer games, couch co op games, you guys can try it out. Almost done here, guys. I got Wipeout, the Omega Collection. This one includes um, a lot of stuff uh, Wipeout HD, Wipeout Fury, and Wipeout 2048. Wipeout started on the OG PS1. If you have never played Wipeout before, um, futuristic, like hover, hover, hover car racing game. That's the best way I can describe it. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, for my people that know Extreme G, the motorcycle futuristic racing game, it reminds me of that. Whew. So Override Mech City Brawl. This is this was a unique game I saw on the GameStop shelf. I've never heard of this, but 
it's a four player local uh, PS4 game where all four of you like can control a part of the mech almost like a Power Rangers thing where one person is controlling one part of the mech but all four of you can control one part of the mech a, a huge mech either that or you can do like a multiplayer oh look at that a CDR that's live guys I just want to let you know that is live that's one of those discs that need to be resurfaced. A CD error? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is, re that is crazy. That is crazy. This is live, guys. That's how, that's how I want you to know this is real. That's real. Um, let me quickly go over this while this loads real quick. Uh, let me reset that. <laughs> Alright, so I got one called Death's Gambit. I do like these 2D, 2D games. Um, cover was interesting. I looked at the back of this thing, but you know, the joint had like a little 2D scrolling action. I'm like, yes, let's get it, let's get it. So I got the Defendive Edition on Xbox One, but I stayed at the K2. It was part of the game bundle deal that I did at GameStop. So I'm like, yes, let me go ahead and cop that. Instead of K2, open world zombie um, uh, survival game. So. Why not? I love I love the Left 4 Dead kind of related things. Right two. That's a sleek cover. I do like that front cover. Um, motorcycle. Think about like Gran Turismo motorcycles. Um, customize motorcycles. Customize your helmet, the gear, and just ride. No pun intended, but I. It was part of a bundle deal, and. Um, I played games like Taurus Trophy on PS2, so that's what it reminded me of. Like, yeah, I love Taurus Trophy. Then, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Um, this includes 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm trying to find uh, the first one as well. I, I was kind of hesitant on it because I think I saw some reviews that kind of swayed me another way, but I'm gonna I'm try to look for it. Um, yeah, as a collector, you know, having all these comprehensive discs, I, I like that. So, that is good. We're winding out to the end. Let me show you the Genesis things. My man Ryan helped me out with this stuff. Um, I got <laughs> X-Men for the sake of Genesis. It's a classic for y'all that you don't remember. I played a little bit of it as a kid. We got Sonic 3 and the Hedgehog. So, I've already had this game loose, but my man Ryan helped me out by uh, letting me trade in my loose one to get a complete in box one. Now, uh, I have all three Sonics complete in box, which is amazing, I love it. Oh, whack shot with Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Um, there was a whole bunch of Disney games in that generation, the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, a whole bunch of them. So, Quack Shot, Quack Shot, platformers. I, I love the platformers. Genesis like had a robust number of platformers. Got ghouls and ghosts. If you guys remember Ghosts and Goblins, um, I think same kind of game. Uh, and those games I think are notoriously hard, like very hard. The last one for Genesis is. Something I've been looking for, my man Ryan surprised me with this one. Woo! This is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. This game has invaded me for so long. Ever since I started collecting, this was like one of the OG games I really wanted to get to Ryan Genesis so bad. I'm glad I freaking found it. I'm glad I freaking found it. <laughs> my man Ryan came through, I, I, I jumped on that as soon as he said this thing was available. So, that's that. All right, guys, I think I got about like maybe seven games left here, so let's wrap this thing up. For the PS1, this is all PS1 uh, and one PS2 game. No, maybe two PS2 games. Space Jam. Ooh, that was a thrift shop find for three bucks. I was like, what? Give it to me, let me get it. I found it at a thrift shop for three bucks. I took it as quick as I could. Ridge Racer 5. You guys know the Ridge Racer series. Uh, this is Ridge Racer 5 on PS2. The arcade racer started on PS1. Um, not too much explanation for that. Ooh. As a collector, you run into um, you know, sucky games, but you want a complete collection. 
<laughs> Mortal Kombat Special Forces. <laughs> if you guys don't know about this game, I'm not even gonna tell you about it. Just look it up, watch some uh, gameplay videos, watch some reviews on it. Uh, Mortal Kombat gone wrong. And here's Mortal Kombat gone right though. Mortal Kombat 4 on the PS1. Yeah, that's the classic one. That's when they first introduced 3D to Mortal Kombat. Uh, with your favorites like Rico, Shinnok, uh, Quan Chi. So, yes, I had to hop that. Now guys, I found this one today and I was so, 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 so psyched to get five bucks, even if it was loose. Capcom vs. SNK 2. Goodness gracious. Yo, I jumped on that ad when I saw it on Craigslist. I needed this game, holy crap. I love fighting games, I love fighting games. Like this one, it becomes like one of the more expensive ones, especially if you buy it on Dreamcast. You wanna grab that before it gets out of your reach. Then, um, I think I already have this game, but you know, I bought a part of a $20, bu a $20 uh, dollar bundle for those PS1 games. Only Musha 2. Um, if you've never played Only Musha, hop on that right now. I, I don't need to speak on Only Musha. You guys know that one. And then I'm just gonna, um, these are just three, uh, the three discs for Final Fantasy VII on PS1. All those PS1 games, I got it for like, like 20 bucks, except for that um, Space Jam I found in a thrift shop. So I hopped on all that, got all that, and I'm very happy. Now, the last two games here I'm gonna show you these, these, these were, these were, my man Ryan comes in like clutch. I got Dot Hack Infection and Dot Hack Mutation. Dot Hack, a pivotal, a pivotal RPG game series on the PlayStation 2. Um, they have an anime and I know it continues, the games continue into PS4 because that's all the games today. But it's got two discs each. Um, I'm trying to complete the four disc, uh, the four game set. So once I get those, then I'll be really happy and good to go. Um, last, last uh, three items really quick. It's just uh, items. Found this at thrift shop for three bucks. PlayStation One controller. Um, I got the RE2 RPD mug, and this was like seven bucks from GameStop. Check your clearance section at GameStop if you guys like collectibles and figurines. They might have surprising things like this last item I'm about to show you. Seven bucks. These aren't games. These are coasters modeled after PS1 games. I have a bar now, so these will come in very much handy in the living room. And they have the real pictures of the games on the back. So it's actually, it's actually pretty dope. I'm, I was really, really, really surprised when I saw that. And at that price, so, <laughs> guys, that was my pickup video. Um, it, yeah, it was a long gap from when I uploaded my last one, but I'm so happy to get this one done. I found so much stuff. You guys seen all this stuff. I am just freaking overwhelmed. Sometimes I'm overwhelmed at all the amazing things I find at the prices that I do find them. But this is the end of the video. I do stream on Twitch, which I always drop in my description down below so follow me on twitch and you know just come watch your man stream or be bad at video games that's it that's my lifestyle but thank you so much y'all for watching i really appreciate it more videos to come soon more specialty videos to come soon this is another pickups video and my motto as always be easy game hard peace